If you've ever played in a Mahjong tournament, or if you're interested in playing in a Mahjong tournament, you might try Charleston Force. This is an exercise I like to do to practice forcing a hand. I have a strip for every category on the card, and I force myself to play hands in those categories to practice trying for prizes. If you are new to Mahjong, or if you're an intermediate player and you want to improve your game, consider subscribing. And when you do, click the bell so you get notification for when I post new videos. That way you won't miss anything. Let's do some Charleston Force. I have all my tiles out and they've been mixed. We're going to do three random pulls. Like numbers. Two, four, six, eight and addition. So we'll do three random pulls and try to force a hand in each of those categories. We'll just say we're the dealer. So we'll get 14 tiles. Let's set up the Charleston. This is a mock Charleston. It is not intended to be exactly like what you would get in a real game. This is just to simulate the Charleston to help practice with decision making. All right, here we go. So we have a mixture. Look at that. Three, three, four. Each suit represented. We do have a multiple here though, a pair of East. Here we have like numbers, two, four, six, eight, and addition. So these are not helpful for any of those. We're gonna break those up because we're gonna force a hand in these categories. Let's build around the sevens. We have no flowers. So I don't know if addition is gonna be a good hand to play. These are odd, so I'm thinking we should try for like numbers. Right there, we have a seven. So we have three tiles towards like numbers. Let's see what we can do. Let's give away this for sure. And then let's pass maybe one of each suit. Let's get rid of those. Actually, before we start, let's see how many evens we have. We have no twos. Since there's a gap, let's go ahead and stick with the plan. We'll try for like numbers. There's a flower. Got to have a flower for like numbers. And we have a wind. Here's an eight. Let's try one of each suit again. Four, nine, six. Let's actually break this up a little bit and pass a wind with that. That way we're not stuck with passing two winds. If we mix it up a little bit, it might be a little more uh, secure later in the game. All right, there's a one and look at these winds. Maybe we could hold these, this pair of south for joker bait. But we could maybe go ahead and pass these. Let's go ahead and pass the six. That way we got a little bit of mixed suit there for another pass. There's another flower. That's looking better. And look at the winds that we have here. Let's pass these three. We could maybe even Pass these three. Ah, maybe even break up that that south. I don't want to get stuck with a pair in the Charleston. We still have three more passes to go. We'll get rid of that joker. You can't keep a joker. Can't keep a joker. There's a dragon. That could be helpful for like numbers. Let's pass south six eight. See all these wins we're getting? I don't like that. 
I hope we don't have to pass those. Oh, look at all these dragons. Oh, that wasn't upside down. All right, let's pass the red because if we play like numbers with dragons, this would be the first like number hand with the dragon. The seven crack and seven dot would work with this green dragon. So let's pass these three. Oh, there's a keeper. And we have some tiles we can pass for optional cross right here. So we have five discards and a little bit of joker bait here that we might be able to use if somebody makes an exposure with East and a, and a joker we could maybe use those to exchange that but I think we made a pretty good attempt here at like numbers there's no gaps which is kind of nice we have five discards though so we would have to draw really well okay let's do it again two four six eight in addition So, two, four, six, eight, and addition. This is what we're trying for. Okay, two, four, six, eight. We actually have two, six, eight. Let's hold on to two, four, six, eight. And anytime I'm playing a certain category, I hold every tile that could be used for that category. In this case, we could keep that too. Not sure if we'll use it or not, but we're gonna keep it just the same. Let's pass these three. There's a six, we'll keep it. Here's an eight, keep it, two, four, six, eight, and we have tiles to pass. Now, this white dragon, I think that is just as risky as passing a flower. I try not to do that. So I'm gonna look at my tiles here and see if there's something else that we could maybe do. Two, four, six, eight. I'm thinking I would rather give that up than pass the white dragon. We could still play two, four, six, eight with flowers. Let's pass these three. There's a four, and here's a six. So now we have tiles there to pass. Here's two, four, six. I'm still thinking the two, four, six, eight with the flowers. There are two options for that arrangement. I would rather give up the eight than pass that white. I'm gonna pass those. There's an eight dot. And we have tiles we can pass. So we have two, four, six, eight. This is gonna be a risky pass here. Instead of passing two, four, six, eight, I think I would go ahead and pass the white at that point. There's a white and we have tiles we can pass. There's another white, oh my gosh. Okay, well it's, oh gosh, that's terrible. I would not, I would not pass that. I just wouldn't do it. It's just risky, especially if you think about the year category, the big year hand. I'm just gonna pass one blind. And then we have um, two for optional cross. I still just don't like passing the white. I just think that it is just as bad as passing a flower. So we get two. So we have four discards, including joker bait. But I think probably the very first hand is a possibility. Four flowers, one, two dot, 
a pair of fours, pung of six dots, and then a kong of eights. Obviously, we need to do some drawing. We could also play the concealed one, which is two flowers, and then pungs of each of these tiles. So four discards for a forced two, four, six, eight. All in all, I think that was a really great Charleston and a good choice. If you would have done something different with that one, let me know. And if you think I overreact on passing whites, write it in the comment section. Let's debate it. I just think that dragons overall are very valuable, but the white dragon more so than the other two. So now we are left with the addition category to force. Okay, let's see what we can do. We got to make an addition hand work here. Okay, now we have a three. We need a 13, so we're going to build around that three. We could play eight, five, one, three. We could play nine, four, or nine, four. This four won't work though. If we don't get the, we could get the nine dot, I suppose. Let's hold it. We could even play eight, five, three in mixed suits. So by process of elimination, we can pass these three. Let's see what happens. We need flowers. Okay, we got a five. Here's a nine, five, three. Now we're in between. We have nine, five, three, or nine, four, three. That's what we need. Nope, that didn't help. Nine, four, or nine, four, if we get the nine dot. We have eight, five, still, eight, five, three, nine, four, three, eight, five, three, nine, four, three. Let's get rid of these three. We need flowers. Here's a three and dragons. Eight, five, three, eight, five, three, nine, four, three. Let's get rid of the four and break this up a little bit there. There's a flower. Whew. Okay, now we have a nine. I don't think it's helpful though. Oh, that's risky. Eight, five, three, nine, four, three. Eight, five, three. I want to leave my options open. I'm going to risk it. Discard. Can't have that. Okay, we've got our first multiple, the nine. Nine, three, nine, four, three, mixed suits. So let's leave our options open. Nine, well, doesn't matter. Okay, let's pass those three. Oh, wow, look at that. We got a pair of sevens. Let's hold that for joker bait. Oh my gosh, there's a five, too. Hmm. Let's break up the sevens. Pass those. Oh, there's a nine. And we do have a one. What we need is a one dot though. Let's give it up. Let's hope for a good optional cross. I don't think there's one in here, but we'll go through the motions. Yeah, discards. So, flower three, we need a one dot. We could use these for the fours maybe, or the extra, the other flowers. We've got three discards and joker bait, but 
I think that was a decent attempt at an addition hand. When you consider what we started with, that's not bad. If you think any of those choices were iffy, or if you would do something different, let me know. Write it in the comment section. Just write hand one, two, or three, and then say what you would have done. But um, those forced hands, I don't think they were too bad. I don't know if any of them would have been winners. I like seeing maybe four discards. Uh, three discards with joker bait is not too bad. That last one might have been a winner. If you have a set at home, give this exercise a try and let me know what you think about it. If you play in tournaments and you practice forcing hands and win a prize, come back and let me know. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, consider subscribing. And when you do subscribe, click the bell so you get notification for when I post new videos. That way you won't miss out on any opportunities to learn some new strategies or maybe pick up on an insight of the game that might give you an advantage at the table, especially at a tournament or special event where they have prizes for a hand in a category kind of like this. Between now and the next Charleston Force, may all your picks be keepers.